just announced it here at CES on Tuesday morning. Still, you guys are some of the first people to see it in action. This is our foldable, portable 4K video drone. Let's give it up for Evo, yeah! That's our drone. This thing's got GPS, it's got a ton of sensors on it. Keep in mind, here inside of the convention center, we got another floor above us and concrete above that, so we don't have GPS in here. Even just without flying it anywhere, it's pretty darn stable. 4K, 60 frames a second. You guys are looking at on the screens, you guys are seeing in real time a 720p video downlink right to our device. This is actually using the Auto Explorer app. If you were flying this, this would be the app that you'd be using. If you want to test out the, the responsiveness, just give it a little wave. You can kind of see and feel how quick that is. There you go. It's just milliseconds. It's a really quick downlink. And again, that's in HD, so you're going to be able to see every fine detail. This is the Evo all, all packed up. It's pretty small. I'd say maybe like, I don't know, size of a loaf of bread or, well, like I'm a 10 and a half, so that's like a seven. Maybe a seven size men's shoe, anybody? Nobody wants to admit it, everybody's like, no, I don't. Not a seven. This thing's packed full of features. Not only is it portable, it's smart. This thing's got sensors all over it. Uh, we're gonna show off some of that computer vision and what it can do. Andrew just drew a box around me. We're gonna show off dynamic tracking. Notice. And I don't have any kind of, oh man. I don't have any kind of extra, like, puck or, or I'm not wearing any kind of I'm good for. beacon. Yeah, yeah. It's just gonna track me around the cage. As I move closer, you can see the camera is gonna pan down. So that's a pretty simple move as, a, as an operator, right? That's just a, a switch on the controller. I move back, it pans back up to keep me in the middle of the frame. If I move right, it moves right. If I move left, I move left. Now this is doing object tracking and smart predictions. So if I were a cyclist, let's say, it's going to predict my momentum and keep following it. So if a tree or something got in between the cyclist and the aircraft, it's going to try to keep that trajectory going to catch it on the other side of the tree. Now we get into a little bit more complex moves as I move closer, again panning down, and then I start rotating around the aircraft, now we're panning and rotating. And this is a pretty darn good pilot, but that's a pretty complex move to do via manually. By just doing it automatically, you can focus on other aspects of your shot, maybe exposure or something else, and just let the drone do the work for you. So that's going to be our dynamic tracking on the Evo, let's give it up for dynamic tracking. That's actually pretty cool, right? Here at Auto Robotics, we make products for you, the customer. We're there for you. We are a tech company based out of the United States. If you have any problems, current Auto owners will tell you, you can get a hold of a seven day a week tech support phone call. Not chat, not email, we'll get back to you. We're there seven days a week. If you got a question, if you're a first time uh, drone owner, or maybe you've been flying for a while, we're there for you. That's what we're here, that's what we're about here at Autel. Now talking about computer vision, we just set up and turned on obstacle avoidance. So you can see these bars appeared above my head. We've got green, we've got yellow. Everybody knows how a stoplight works, right? I need some audience participation on this. What does green mean? What does red mean? What does yellow mean? Drive faster. Okay. I told you that joke was going to work after lunch. I mean, like, I feel good. All right, so now that we know how that works, you can kind of make a little bit of sense. This is actually showing us what the drone is thinking. This is actually seeing, and the, the side to sides are actually kind of important because this is how we obstacle avoid, not collision detect. Collision detect stops the aircraft. This helps us navigate around the object. If I were the tree, it sees on either side of me that there might be an opening and it will work its way around that. So this is important if you're doing mission planning or waypoints or this is flying around your house. It suddenly gets near the tri chimney, it doesn't just stop until it runs out of battery and then lands on the roof. This thing is going to fly around that, that chimney. So you can see, again, either side I've got yellow. As he pans around, you can see you guys are a little close. 
This thing's going to detect up to 10 meters away, so there's plenty of warning when that thing's coming at you. It sees Tim, it sees Andrew. And there's me again. I'm about eight meters away. If I walk a little closer, you'll see those bars above my head are gonna get redder and redder and redder. So that's basically saying full stop there. If Andrew were to put stick, stick to the front, it's not gonna do anything. It's not moving. He's got that big peg and it's not moving for us. So again, that's the obstacle avoidance. The computer vision that's on the Evo. We're really excited about this drone. We think you guys should be too. Again, 4K, 60 frames a second. 30 minutes worth of flight time, guys. On a battery like this, it only takes about a little over an hour, hour and 15 minutes to charge. We're pretty excited about this drone. Again, we're based out of the United States. We're a, based out of Washington State. Bockle, to be exact. If you guys are walking past the Auto Robotics booth right now, we're going to be giving away one of our Evo drones right now. So make sure you guys all make your way over to here, the front of our booth, and see our receptionist. Get your badge scanned. Some of these guys are saying, like, no, 